Hi, I am Rachit, and this story is not the story of my life. Yet, this is the reason for my life, the reason for my very existence. Hey, please just play it cool, man. Ah, uh, it hurts. Why do you have to get involved in fights with those huge guys? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you, Devit? You didn't even bother to help me while I was getting bashed up by those bullies. You are just a stupid coward. That's all. I guess this is it then. The last few days for you and for me. What man? What do you guys want? What? What? You have a problem? What do you want? It's like old times, huh? Yeah, you push him, okay? And who are you? No one pushes him! Okay? You get that? You then wait. you touch him. You wait. Then you touch tomorrow him. Tomorrow we'll see. We'll see you tomorrow. You'll regret this. You'll regret this. Tomorrow. Oh, nice. What happened today? You said that you could never defend me. But today, you, you saved me. I've realized that I was wrong. I'm sorry for that day. Fighting for the right is never wrong. After this, Devit had changed completely. He became stronger mentally, but weaker physically. And his situation kept on worsening. And one day, he suddenly disappeared. Excuse me? Yes sir, how may I help? Do you have any records for a patient in the Let me check. Yes sir. Yes sir, I'm please really sir, sir, you're not allowed Excuse to go sir. Devit? Devit? What happened? Your hair. Take this. This will tell you everything you need to know. And promise me, you won't come back. Just go now. But I want to be here with you, man. Just go. <coughs> Just go. Are you right? 
church. I know I have been away for quite some time now. But please get used to this. I may go away perhaps for eternity. But don't be shocked. It's okay. When you get this video, it will probably be the last few hours of my life. You have always told me to be brave. But now, you be brave and fight your tears. As I fought this disease for the last 420 days. I was diagnosed with stage 3 brain tumor. It was already too late. Well, there's something more important than this. In this hospital, there's a boy named Richard Tabari. He's a 15 year old boy and he has a very, very serious heart disease. And if his heart is not replaced soon, he will die. So I have decided and already made the arrangements. After my death, that is sometime soon, my heart will be donated to him. Please visit him if you can and take good care of him. Cheers to the coming years of your life. Make the best out of them. I do hope that my heart serves its purpose. Goodbye. Hello, yes. Mr. Yuvraj. I am sorry to inform you that Mr. Devit has passed away. And that ended the journey of my saviour. It took a lot of time for Yuvraj to move on. But eventually, he did. Well, with every patient that I treat, I try repaying the debt that I owe to Devit. Yet, it never seems to be reciprocated completely. And it okay, never sir, So, I've considered all your reports. And after thorough investigation, the conclusion that I've come to is that you have severe tuberculosis. And it is a bit tough to handle the situation. But don't worry, we will do our best because it is still at a non-drug resistant stage which means that we can prescribe medicines but you will have to cooperate with us sir Sorry to interrupt but how come you have my photo on your desk? I don't get you sir Well, this is my photo with my friend Devit It seems that you knew Mr. Devit yeah, Well, the best friend I've ever had When it happens to be that he is my life saviour because when I was dying when I did not have a heart that was fully functional, he donated his heart to me and I'm alive today, all because of him. Within three months, Yuvraj recovered completely and we have been in touch frequently ever since. When I look back in time, all that I see is the perfect picture of a hero, a person whom I can look up to. We all have our own heroes, our own idols, our own inspirations and David will always be the reason behind my heartbeats. All of this is just like a stone dropped in a pond. One stone, many ripples. One heart, many heartbeats. Whatever happens, David's heart and selfless spirit will always beat inside me. Forever. Forever.